What's going on SaaS Masters? My name is George and today I want to show you Create Studio, which is a video editor that lets you create animated videos. Now the videos that you're going to be able to create with Create Studio are really good looking videos. Now if someone saw one of these videos that you create with Create Studio, they're probably going to be thinking that you paid over $500 to $1,000 just to get one of these videos, but it's actually much cheaper than that. So if you guys want to check out the deal that's going on right now, that link will be in the description. Now, another question that you're probably going to be asking yourself is how hard is it to edit these videos? And it's actually pretty easy. And in this video, I'm probably going to help you with 90% of those doubts that you might have editing these videos. So it's pretty easy to use and you're going to see it in this video right now. So let's jump over to my desktop and check it out. Alright guys, this is my Create Studio and I already have it installed on my MacBook but it's also available for Windows and the first thing that we're going to check out are the templates just so you can check them out and then we're going to jump into the editor. Now I already have the section character and I'm under templates so if I hover over one of these templates it's going to start playing to give me an idea of what they do so let me show you around some of them. These are 3D characters. If I hover over another one, a coffee one. So they got the characters, they got the music, they got the backgrounds, movements, transitions, and all that good stuff. So for example, here's another one. I can go and see more. For example, they also have flat characters. So they got 3D and flat. Check out this one. I like how that one starts. And we can just see more and more, just really quickly, show you around. They got different types of uh, templates right here. Restaurants, doctors, um, gyms, massage, um, chats, promotional ones. We can check out Instagram and Facebook ones. For example, if you want to check out, like, do like a chat thing, that's also available right here. They got Black Friday, that's coming. All right, we got some funnels right here. Got some more. We got scroll stoppers. For example, scroll stoppers are when you're scrolling on the social media, you see that, and it makes you stop because, hey, what's going on? Why is someone floating, right? Or why is this bear showing up on the right side? Show this, right? So it looks like an Instagram post, and it's just moving, right? So there's more and more. We got promotional ones. You can see they have a lot of them. Um, story, logo intros. So if you just want to make a quick logo intro, with this, that's also available. Just put in your logo and it's it's ready to go. So for example, let me show you this one. Put in your logo and boom, you got it, right? You make an intro video. And there's a couple of them. Well, there's several ones. All right, we got YouTube ones, others, local business, and Facebook cover. So I'm gonna select one of these and I'm gonna grab this mechanic guy because I already have them loaded before. So each time that you select a brand new template, it's gonna start downloading all the assets for them. In this case, I already downloaded it before, so it was, it was much faster. But it depends how large those assets are. It takes about two to five minutes, all right? So if I click play on this one, we're gonna be able to see this template in particular. So let me click right. You're gonna see the man, you're gonna see a transition, and you got some more information and all that good stuff. You can edit all of this, right? So let me show you really quickly around the editor. On the left, we got the project media settings right here. So you can load in your logos, your images, or videos that you need to put in this template or create your template from scratch. We got the studio settings here on the top left and you got the scenes, characters, transitions, so on and so forth. If you select this, you go in through more folders and check out all the characters available there. We'll check those in a bit. We can exit right here. We got some quick actions on the top. So we got titles, shapes, images, the arrow button or the hand button just to move around the video. We got the zoom. We got some video effects that I'll show you those in a bit. And on the right, we have the project settings. Anything that we click on will give us the settings here on the right. That means, for example, if we click on a text box, it will show us the text colors, the fonts, and all that stuff here on the right. And on the bottom is the most important part. It's the timeline. The timeline is really good because it's based on layers. So that means that every scene that we see here, for example, this is one scene. It's scene one, two, three, and four. You can see them how they go. Those are layers. So what is a layer? Well, a layer is when you have something on the bottom and something comes to the top, it's going to be shown first the one on the top. So in this case, I'll do a quick play, right? We have this layer and then we have that layer, right? So the bottom layer is going to disappear once the, the top layer goes in. And that one went in, right? Now, if I click here and if I 
move this layer on the top, it's going to put it on top of it. Like I said before, it's a layer structure, which is really good. That's how a formal video editor should be. Now, inside of these layers, we have a group of more layers to make this editing more easy. So instead of having a whole mess right here, we have the group. So for example, in this scene, if I double click on it, we have the layers inside of that scene. So now we have the sound effects, the in your car need, the box, the mechanic, and the background. So that's in this layer. So it's easier. Instead of having everything in the front end, we have everything right here. And that opened up right here. If I want to go back to main project, I click on the main project. Now in this layers, we also have the music, we got scenes, and we can hide the scene or show the scene, lock it or view it right here. So it's easy and straightforward for that. Okay, so let's jump into the scene and show you how the editor works. So for example, right now it says in your car need of a service, right? So what about if we want to change that? That's not what I, that's not my message, right? Maybe that's a promotional message. So I can click on it right here on the actual video or I can click on it on the bottom right here in the timeline. So that opens up my editor on the right. So like I said before, here are the settings. We got the fonts, we got font size, spacing, color, opacity, scale, rotation, so on and so forth. We got motions for it if we want to set some motions, some motions for in and out. So that means when it comes in, it's going to do something. So for example, scale up, right? Let's select that and let's go back and it's going to scale up. See how it's scaled up? I added that to it. I'm going to do command Z because I don't want to do that right now. Again, let's click on my settings right here and now I can edit it by double clicking on it. So for example, I could say get this promotion, right? So I could say that instead of what it said before. Um, the mechanic is right here. So the mechanic, if I click on this little arrow on the left, it's going to give me the options. So right now it's a jump in wave. So that's what he's doing. And let me show you that again. Let me click play, jump in, wave. All right, let me click on this character again and we have the add actions right here or if we want to edit the action that's already available right now. So instead of waving, we might have him, have him doing something else, driving a car, fixing a car. So depending on the character are the things that he's going to do. I mean, if it's a superhero, he's going to fly. If it's a mechanic, well, he's going to drive or he's going to do something based on that. But in this case, we're going to say, you know what, I want him to fixing car. All right. So he's going to be back there fixing a the car and I'm going to drag him over here and maybe a little bit smaller. Well, that doesn't look good. Let me make him actually bigger. So that would be a little bit more to the scale of this video. Okay. So like that, put him down here. And if I click play, he's going to do an action based on what I selected. So he's, he's fixing a car now. Instead of jumping in and waving, he's fixing a car. Now you saw how he disappeared really quickly. That's because you have to set this right here. So the timeline, I can move him around. So for example, I want to move him over here. That would be the right place. And there we go. He was starting too quick. Now we could change the, the amount of time or add more actions to it. So if I want to add an action, so after he's using the car, he can wave. We can do that by adding an action. Super easy and super fast, right? Now, what if we want to add another character instead of the one that this template had? I mean, he's cool, right? But I want to add someone else. I'll delete this guy. I'll go into my studio, click on the studio. In this case, we, we're keeping the scene because we like it. We want to change the character. We got colorful, we got supreme, we got elegant, we got 3D and we got device. So I'm going to select 3D. Let me try to find one that I already downloaded so we don't take time. All right. So this astronaut guy, so I wouldn't see him here, but he's here. All right. So this astronaut guy is here All right, and he's not doing anything. You can see he's idled and I started him before. So let me bring him over here. Let me drag this over here, right there. And right now he's idle, right? But we don't want him idle. We want him doing something. I want him, for example, pointing. All right. So let's click play and see what he does. So he's pointing. I mean, right now what we're doing is not doing an actual video, just showing you around what, what things are capable. So he can redundance. Uh, let's, let's make him happy. Hey, oh, floating looks cool. Let's have him floating. So if this were a space scene, we'd have him floating, right? Now, if you need to add more actions to it, for example, add an action, you can do phone. Oops, for that, there we go, phone, click the way. So he's floating and now he's going to grab a phone and it's jumping over to the next scene. So basically you see it's actually easy to edit. 
Now let me go back to the main project again and let's jump over to an, a new scene right here. So we have this scene available right here that we can also edit everything by double clicking on this scene. So let me click on it and really quickly let me scroll through it, see how that does. Now we got some camera actions where we can actually zoom into places and zoom out by adding these actions. So I'm going to click on this camera here on the top, let me click on that and we're on the exit camera right here. So I can exit but right now we're in the camera. Now I'm going to set an action right here. We got the camera layer and I'm going to add a plus button. I'm going to click away from this because that's how they say you have to do it. I don't know why you can't be on it to actually edit it, right? So I clicked on it and what I'm going to do is I am going to zoom in to this right here. Okay, so that's the action that this camera is going to do and I'm going to click play for you again zoomed in and it stayed zoomed. So I need to add another action to do something else. So for example, here's another action and this one, what it's going to do, it's going to, I don't know, let's just say go into these two, right? These are just examples. So let me go back, play. We got the full scene, zoom a bit, and then we can zoom a bit more over here. And at the end, we're going to zoom way out. So let's add another action. And in this case, Let's click on it and we're gonna we can scroll all, we can drag it all the way or we can click right here on expand camera okay so let's play all this again zoom in this place zoom again and zoom out see how all the things that you could do with this it's not your basic editor you can make really really good looking videos with this because you have a lot of options to work with you can add more characters you can add more things let me go back to studio we got some scenes available if you like the scene from another template that you saw, they're going to be right here and you can grab those. That's really easy and straightforward to get all of this. Now, let's just say you like the video, you, you saw how it goes. All right. So this is cool. We liked it. All right. This is just demo purposes. But if you liked it, we can publish it. Now, this is the end scene and I forgot this one. Let's just add a logo really quickly. All right. So we got your logo right here, which is this one. Let's exit the camera. Okay. Now let's click on that logo. I'm going to replace that and in my project media, I'm going to add a logo right here. So let me add this right here I'm going to click on it and it's replaced. So let me show you that. And there's my logo, right? And if I wanted to add my site, so for example, my site, sasmaster.net, and that's my site added there really quickly, really fast. Boom. And if I wanted to publish, click right here, select the format. So we have these available. And the destination, whoops, canceled. And since this video is already for 1080p, it's gonna export it on 1080p. Now, before I finish, just wanna show you really quickly one of the templates for the logo intro because these are gonna be really popular ones. Um, let's just say, yeah, let's grab that one. Okay, let's download that really quick. And let's just say I need to make an intro really fast, really quickly. So, this is your logo, so that's that one. I'm gonna replace it. I'm gonna add my media again, right here. Let's just say that's my logo. Replace it with that, and I'm gonna click play. And there's my logo. If I needed to center this a bit more, if I needed to make bigger, whoops, that one. Needed to make, whoa. There we go. With that one, I can move around. If I need to change the color, if I need to change the background, you got the colors right here. And you can make your own intro video in a matter of, well, I guess I wouldn't even take a minute to edit one of those intros, unless I really want to fine tune it with colors and all that. But you'd probably take less than five minutes to create an intro video with one of the templates they already have built into the template library right here. So it's super easy and super fast to actually edit with Create Studio. So there you go, guys. That's Create Studio. If you guys want to grab a deal that's really good right now, check out that link in the description. If you found this video helpful, that helps me out with a small commission to keep making these videos for you guys. And well, have you guys watch them and check out those deals. Thank you for watching. My name is George and this is SaaS Master. I'll see you guys later.